I'd say you can really make an argument that we have a tale of two states right now. And Governor Snyder did a very good job of highlighting the success and um, how well things are going for people on the top. But the reality in America is four in 10 people in this country right now have no idea what they'd do if they had a $500 crisis. A lot of those people live in my district. Um, I have a lot of children in my district. Half the children in my district live below the poverty level. And we have to do something to address those issues. So if, if my colleagues want to address something, do something with our surplus money, I'd suggest we use it to restore the earned income tax credit. We use it to uh, give child deductions to people again, things that actually are gonna matter to people who are working and struggling. And uh, Grand Rapids is a success story in a lot of ways for a lot of people, but it is not a success for, story for everybody. I represent a city that was declared the second worst place in America to be African American last year. At the same time that it's filled with breweries and new businesses. Um, and so for the affluent and the successful, it's nice to succeed. But, it's, but we absolutely have to remember that we live in a state that includes everyone and not just the successful. So my urgency is that we tackle those issues. And I was particularly disappointed not to hear Governor Snyder talk about real work on criminal justice reform because our criminal justice system takes a lot of people out of the real possibility of achieving in our society. And until we stop locking up nonviolent offenders and permanently stigmatizing them, a lot of my constituents are not gonna have a path to success. So we have to address uh, real change that is going to provide opportunity for everybody, including people who we're currently stigmatizing and neglecting.